<laughs> We're going to look at today in the Bible, laughter. And I have been a public witness. I've knocked on doors. I've street preached. <laughs> I've preached in prison. And I've talked to people one on one. I try to get gospel tracks out. One of the reactions you get <laughs> is people will laugh at you. No big deal, is it? Well, for some people it is. For me, it's not. I mean, who wants to be laughed at? But there's a laughter in the Bible. And we're going to look at some verses that, you know, wow. Then you realize that. And then you're going to look at some serious Bible verses. So, Revel uh, Revelation, Genesis 17, verse 16. I will bless her, that would be Sarah, and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall come from her. David. Uh, Saul. Then Abraham, now this is God speaking. God just told Abraham, Sarah, I'm going to give her a wife. Abraham fell on his face and laughed. And said in his heart, shall a child be born unto him that is 100 years old and unto Sarah that's 90 years old? God, we're over age. It's impossible to use us. We're too old. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham, the man of great faith, the man of Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the nation of Israel, God's people, he laughed. When God said, God said, God said, God said, his voice told Abraham Sarah was going to have a baby, and he laughed. Have you ever read something in the Bible and laughed? <laughs> Whoa. Have you ever been in prayer with the Lord? You and the Lord in prayer and something, and you laugh? Have you ever heard a message of being preached and it caused you to laugh? It's in the Bible, Abraham laughed. Chapter 18, verse 12. And Verse 10, this is God speaking again, speaking to Abraham. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. She's 90 years old. She heard it in the tent door that was behind him. And Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age and ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Sarah's uterus, Sarah's Ways and body for a baby. It stopped. She didn't get her periods anymore. She way past the time of life. God said she was going to have a baby. Like God told Abraham, you're going to have a son. <laughs> Therefore, Sarah <laughs> laughed within herself. <laughs> Saying, after I am wax old, Shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? And the Lord said to Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh? <laughs> Abraham, you laugh too. What's she laughing about? And you got to wonder, when, when the Lord said that to Abraham, was he dead serious? Or was it, <laughs> what's Sarah laughing at? Or what is Sarah laughing at? You would assume that Abraham has told Sarah what God told him before. Or maybe he didn't. He should have. Look at verse 15. Sarah denied. Say, I laugh now. Oh, yes, you did. For she was afraid. She'd been caught. Chapter 21. Chapter 21. Verse 5. 
Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. That's old. That's an old man. That's a great, great, great grandpa having a, having a son, becoming a dad. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh. Remember back in 18? <laughs> Remember Sarah said, <laughs> Galatians 6, 7, Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. Now watch this. So that all that hear will laugh with me. What's that mean? Isaac means laughter. So every time Sarah would say, Isaac, would you like an apple? Oh, I remember the day I laughed. Because Isaac means laughter. Isaac, get in this tent, right? <laughs> laughter. Isaac, dinner time, laughter. Isaac, go wash your hands, I th uh, laughter. Come on, Isaac, we're going to laughter. Isaac, laughter. You sleeping, Isaac? Laughter. Every single time she called her son Isaac, and Abraham called his son Isaac, they will remember the day that day in <laughs> chapter 17 and chapter 18, they will remember And you just thought, hey, you know, it, it was just nice. That's a nice name, Isaac. God said you shall call that name Isaac. Call that boy Isaac. Call that boy, that son Isaac. Because every time you call him <laughs> Isaac, I want you to remember the day that you. <laughs> Can you imagine the day that somebody would say, Isaac, where'd you get that name? Well, God told my father, <laughs> Abraham. My mother was in the tent one day making biscuits, making bread or something like that. And God was speaking to Abraham. And God told uh, that, that the man or a woman that, 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 uh, that she's over the age. She's past her time of giving children. <laughs> At nine years old, she's going to have a baby. She's in that tent and she... So when you name that boy, you're going to name that boy. So my name means, means laughter. And Jewish people take the naming of their children serious. They read and so Abraham, Abraham, he spoke so highly in the scriptures. He laughed. Sarah, his wife, laughed, and they named the boy by God. God pre-named that boy before he was born. He said, laughter. That's interesting. Look at Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 9. That was God, Jehovah. Matthew 9, 24. This is Jesus Christ. There's a girl, she's dead in her room. The parents had brought Jesus to her. When he came into the ruler's house, he saw the minstrels and the people making noise. I mean, they're hired to play and weep and cry over a death. He said unto him, give place for the maid. The little child is not dead, but sleeping. And they <laughs> laughed him to scorn. They laughed at God. They laughed at Jesus. But when the people were put forth, he went in, took her by the hand, and the maid made a road. He told them, get out of here. <laughs> he went in and shut the door. They would laugh. Never witness the miracle of that dead girl raising from the dead. Don't you laugh at God. Don't you make jokes about God. One day you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for laughing at God. Don't make jokes about his marriage. Because he ordained marriage. 
Two things he ordained for Adam. Go in the garden and dress it, work. Here's a woman, marry her. There are preachers and all that, and you know, comedians, they make fun of marriage. We better not laugh at marriage. Because he'll come back and haunt you by God. Because Abraham and uh, Sarah, when they laughed at God, the entire <laughs> life of their child, you remember the day that we at God. These people laughed at Jesus and his word. He, they're laughing because of what he said. They were put forth, and they never saw the resurrection. Every time that girl walked down the street, those people would... I wonder what they thought about. Here we laughed at Jesus, and there she goes, carrying a pail. Can you imagine, they had you know the stands on the street. Can you imagine that, that little girl going up to the tomato stand? She says, my mom sent me down here for four tomatoes. And the person selling the tomatoes laughed at Jesus when she was dead. When Jesus said, get place where the, man, the maid is, is not dead but sleeping. That guy selling the tomatoes. And I laughed at Jesus for saying that. And there she is handing me the shekels and I'm giving her tomatoes. Can you imagine Abraham and Isaac? Would you pick Isaac for? Huh? Here we go. Can you imagine everybody who talked about Isaac. There's a boy. His parents laughed at God. Well, how do you know? His name is Isaac. Laughing at Jesus, they miss the miracle. Your life, you may be missing something, a blessing of God as a Christian. Because you laughed at God somewhere. You thought it was all so fun. Maybe it was when you're lost. Maybe you heard a message and you thought, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. Because if Abraham and Sarah had to reap, had to sow their laughter, so will you. As these people laughed at Jesus, they had to reap and sow. So will you. Don't think just because you're a born again Bible believing Christian, you're, you're in the right church, King JV, KJV, all right, hallelujah, glory to God. Every time you reap in and sow, it happens to all. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. And this, this message is about laughter. Now, this message is about. The last laugh. The, like I said, when I started this message, I have met people in the public ministry. I've been in the jail ministry. I've been on the street preaching. I've gone door knocking. I've gone passing out gospel tracts. I have witnessed the people at work. I have had an open Bible with people. I have done all kinds of things that Lord allowed me to do. And when they hear about God, they hear about Jesus, they hear about the gospel, they hear I'm a Bible believer, <laughs> they look at my car load of bumper stickers, and they... Okay? Now God's turn. Psalms. Be not deceived, God's not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. God saying, he that sitteth in the heavens, God, shall laugh. Can you imagine you are on the wrong side of God? You are the enemy of God. You are at the great white throne judgment. Oh, please, Lord God. Oh, I want to give me a second chance. Oh, God, please. Please, God. I don't want to go to Lake of Fire. No. Oh, God. Just, God, do something. Ha, 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 ha,
depart from me, worker of iniquity. I never knew you. The last laugh. You're casting like a fire. Jesus is the Lord. <laughs> Oh, that guy believed in evolution. <laughs> that guy thought Mary would get him to heaven. <laughs> All the time that guy uses the name of Jesus Christ for everything wrong and cursing. <laughs> wow. That is an awesome, wonderful God that we have. You see, that's cruel. No, because God gave it all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believes on him should not perish, have everlasting. God has done everything, everything that needed to be done for you to be saved. And whatever you turn to against Jesus, Lord, I'm a Mormon. <laughs> In the name of Allah. <laughs> really? Do you notice I said the word Allah, my screen got white? That was interesting. For the devil, Satan shows up like an angel of light. Thirty-seven. 37, 37, 13. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Look at, look at, look at 12. For the wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. I'll get that Christian. I'll miss that Christian so up. I'll make sure that guy, that holy roller, I'll make sure he won't get the job. I right, that, that that Christian over there reads his Bible at lunchtime. And I'm gonna... God's up in heaven like <laughs> Oh yeah, that Christian's gonna go into glory. He's gonna go through the judgment seat of Christ and he's gonna go into New Jerusalem. You ha <laughs> ha he's not gonna get in the job. <laughs> Oh, into the lake of hell you go. <laughs> and that, that Christian, my son, he will go into eternity. He will be before me. He'll sing before me. Praise my honor and glory of my son and the Holy Spirit in me. And you, hell. <laughs> <clears throat> That's God. And the screen went white again. It's never done that. If you're lost in this room, this room, if you're lost watching this video, do you really want the God Almighty, the creator of all, the God of the King James Bible, do you really want him to? <laughs> As you are thrown into hell for all eternity, you are weeping and gnashing teeth, you are begging God to save you. Too late. How about you, Christian? How about you're at the judgment seat of Christ and poof, you got ashes. Nothing but ashes. <laughs> oh, God, please give me a crown. Come on, I did it. I, you know, when I was on the ball team, I played the game and we all got a reward. We all got a ribbon. <laughs> Oh, you played a ball game and everybody got a ribbon. <laughs> that don't happen here, son. When I give gold, silver, and precious stones, I give you a crown. I give you an inheritance. You earn it. But I don't have no crown. All eternity. When, when everybody casts their crowns before Jesus and you have no crowns. You could go into a King James Bible and be a church. You could go into a church that taught right.
But Lord, I didn't know. You're Christian, I didn't know. Did you read your Bible? No. <laughs> That's your problem. See, God will laugh at the saved and God will laugh at the lost. God, you know, a Christian, you know, he goes off on, on the on the other path and he's on his way to Downing Castle. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be good. I'll stay right here till he comes back. We have a God that laughs. He'll laugh at the unsaved and he'll laugh at the saved. 59. I hope my writing's getting terrible. 59 verse 8. For thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have the heathen. Heathen. They're not Jewish and they're not saved. All right, that's an important message about a doctor's appointment. I apologize. Do you really want God to laugh at you for everything that you've done or everything you didn't do? God, we have 100 billion gods in India. I let the cow pee on me. <laughs> ah, get this. He had a cow pee on him. And I'm supposed to... <laughs> Then the Christian at the judge say, I gave money to charity. <laughs> I, I I gave money to that to that to that Christian group. <laughs> you didn't even know what that Christian group was. <laughs> well, my pastor, your pastor. <laughs> oh your oh, your pastor. <laughs> That's what God's gonna do with some of your pastors. He's going to laugh and choke and cough. Your pastor. Yeah, right. <laughs> God. Almighty God. Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. Jesus, I, I bought toilet paper on your birthday at church. You gave me toilet paper. We don't even have bathrooms up here. <laughs> Mr. Moon, Mirror, you come up here and tell me how much you gave to us and the orphanages that we gave you. Mr. Moody, will you come up here and tell all what you've given to us and all the ministries we've given you? And you gave me toilet paper. For my birthday, and it wasn't even my birthday. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, isn't it? You don't think it's funny. God does. Proverbs 1. All right. Now watch this one. This is God, Holy Spirit. Because I called, and you refused. God sent a, a Christian. God sent a Bible. God sent a message. God sent the gospel. I've stretched out my hand. Come on. Come, come listen to that man. Come listen to my word. Here's a Bible. Here's a radio station. Here's a CD. Here's a church. And no man regarded. But ye have set my, not my counsel. You did not listen to me. You did not care about me. You went after science. You went after education. You went after money. You went after sex. You went after that religion. You went after that, that nice, loving, great church. You went after yourself. You did anything but what I told you to do. And with none of my reproof, you wouldn't receive any of my correction. You wouldn't receive anything I told you. You did not obey. You did not listen to God. <laughs> and God says, I will also. And 
at your calamity. You're in trouble. You're in anguish. Your house is destroyed. Your money's gone. Your wife left. Whatever it is, you're about to enter into hell. You're going to the lake of fire. And God says, Because you wouldn't listen. You're a saved, born again, Bible believing Christian, and you got saved. You're going to heaven. You wouldn't witness. You wouldn't go into the world. You said, Come to my church. Come to my church. But you didn't give them the gospel. You didn't show up to church because it was NASCAR Sunday. You didn't go to church midweek because it was baseball. You didn't go because you were on a cruise and you don't get no rewards. You have ashes at the judgment seat of Christ and you beg God and God says, I will mock when your fear cometh. Ha ha ha! Let Allah do it. Ha 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 ha! Oh, Mary! Yeah. Oh, Mary, full of grapes. Ha ha ha! Oh, 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 the dinosaurs! Oh, oh, man, the dinosaurs and 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 the, the fish that came. Oh, man! Oh, yes, your professor that's dead. Your professor that is dying. All oh, the other man, the priests in the confessional. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you're going to go on another planet. <laughs> oh, the woman, J.W., when the Bible says the 144,000 are males. <laughs> you keep turning God off. You keep telling God no. You, you don't listen to God. He's going to laugh. He's going to mock you. You mock God. God to mock you. Listen, when you're a street preacher, people, people come and mock and mock and mock. And you got to sit there. You're, you're, you're weeping from your heart because you know, be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth that he shall also, be not deceived. God's, whatsoever man soweth that he shall also reap. And that guy is mocking you because you're preaching the gospel. You know at some point in time in his life, he's going to reap. He, he sold. He's going to reap. You know one day they're going, oh, God, help me. Oh, God. And God said, because <laughs> you didn't listen to my words. Never mind the man preaching. My word. That, that what came out of his mouth was my words. You didn't really have no reproof. You didn't hearken unto it. What were you coming to me for? When your fear cometh desolation, your destruction comes as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish comes upon you, then they shall call upon me. And I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of God, fear of the Lord. When you laugh at God, when you laugh at his words, when you laugh at his Christians, when you laugh at his songs, when you laugh at his worship, anything that you laugh at, saved or lost, the Bible teaches us God's going to laugh at you. God's going to get the last laugh. And it won't be funny. I know that's sad. But we got a holy and righteous God. And he sent his word out. And you laughed. He sent, he sent his son out. And they, listen, they laughed at Jesus when he was on the cross. They laugh when you preach about the cross. There are Baptist preachers who laugh at me, who despise me. They go about their sins and their wickedness and teaching the church and, and promoting what goes on in the church that's wrong. One day God's going to laugh at them. And there'll probably be things that I laughed at that God will laugh at me. We have a holy and righteous God, and when he laughs at you, it's because you laughed at him first. 
You can't plant tomato seeds in the ground and expect roses to come up. <laughs> so finally, <laughs> don't do that to God. And if you have, repent.